Nursing Care of the Community Chapter 1 Fundamental Concepts of Community Health Nursing After this chapter the learners will be able to have idea regarding the health and the community and its focus on public health. Furthermore, the learners will be able to list the three levels of prevention, and give one example of each. Explain the differences among community health nursing, public health nursing and community-based nursing. Cite the distinguishing features of community health nursing. Discuss public health nursing practice in terms of public health's core functions and essential public health functions. Compare the different fields of community health nursing practice. Apply the competency standards of nursing practice in the Philippines in community health nursing practice. Discuss community health nursing interventions as explained by the intervention wheel. Lastly, outline the historical development of public health and public health nursing in the Philippines. In the Philippine public health care scenario, the national budget allocation for health care is relatively small. Local government units augment the national budget to an undetermined extent. This scenario requires strategies that will allow maximization of limited resources, like health promotion and disease prevention. The nurses in public health care. The community health nursing is the synthesis of nursing practice and public health practice. Also, the community health nursing major goal is to preserve the health of the community and surrounding populations by focusing on health promotion and health maintenance of the four clientele which are the individuals, families, and groups within the community. Social justice is the mission of public health. The concepts of health includes variety of characterizations of the word illustrates the difficulty in standardizing the conceptualization of health. Common concepts of health are goal-oriented, soundness, wholeness and etc. Before, the community health focused on geographical boundaries with the people's social attributes. On the later part of the decade, the geographical location became a secondary characteristics when defining what is community. According to Moorer and Smith, communities has different attributes. The people, place, interaction, and common characteristics, interest or goals which has big impact. Communities is also divided in two types. Territorial community and functional community. In community health nursing there are determinants of health and disease. Health is influenced by many factors which may generally be organized into five broad categories known as determinants of health, genetics, behavior, environmental and physical influences, medical care, and social factors. These five categories are interconnected. The fifth category, social determinants of health, encompasses economic and social conditions that influence the health of people and communities. These conditions are shaped by socioeconomic position, which is the amount of money, power, and resources that people have, all of which are influenced by socio-economic and political factor like policies, culture, and societal values. An individual's socio-economic position can be shaped by various factors such as their education, occupation, or income. All of these factors, social determinants, impact the health and well-being of people and the communities they interact with. Several factors related to health outcomes are How a person develops during the first few years of life, early childhood development How much education a person obtains and the quality of that education Being able to get and keep a job What kind of work a person does Having food or being able to get food Having access to health services and the quality of those services Living conditions such as housing status, public safety, clean water, and pollution. How much money a person earns. Social norms and attitudes like discrimination, racism, and distrust of government. Residential segregation like physical separation of races slash ethnicities into different neighborhoods. Social support. Language and literacy. Incarceration. Culture, general customs, and beliefs of a particular group of people. Access to mass media and emerging technologies like cell phones, internet, and social media. All of these factors are influenced by social circumstances. Of course, many of the factors in this list are also influenced by the other four determinants of health. Health promotion is a behavioral social science that draws from the biological, environmental, psychological, physical, and medical sciences to promote health and prevent disease, 
disability and premature death through education-driven voluntary behavior change activities. Whereas, disease prevention is a procedure through which individuals, particularly those with risk factors for a disease, are treated in order to prevent a disease from occurring. Treatment normally begins either before signs and symptoms of the disease occur, or shortly thereafter. There are also levels of prevention. Primary Secondary and Tertiary According to Level and Clark, primary level of prevention is general health primer Iona ND specific protection. Early detection and prompt intervention falls under the secondary level of prevention and lastly reduce the effects of disease and injury and restore individuals to their optimal level of functioning. According to Freeman, public health nursing may be defined as a field of professional practice in nursing and in public health in which technical nursing, interpersonal, analytical, and organizational skills are applied to problems of health as they affect the community. And according to American Nurses Association, the practice of promoting and protecting the health of populations using knowledge from nursing, social, and public health sciences. According to McEwen and Pullis, community-based nursing has application of the nursing process in caring for individuals, families, and groups where they live, work or go to school or as they move through the health care system. According to Minnesota Department of Health, the population-focused approach focuses on the entire population. Is based on assessment of the population's health status. Considers the broad determinants of health. Emphasizes all levels of prevention. Intervenes with communities, systems, individuals, and families. Four levels of clientele of community health nursing. Individual. Family. Group and community. Community health services and community health nursing services, are generally free at the point of care. The services have already been prepaid by the community. Like taxes cover government provided health care services. Tuition fees cover school health services. And consumers pay for the occupational health services of employees of a company. Emerging fields. Of community health nursing in the Philippines. The home health care involves providing nursing care to individuals and families in their own places of residence mainly to minimize the effects of illness and disability. While the hospice home care specifically rendered to the terminally ill. Entrepreneurs, this is a project initiated by the Department of Labor and Employment in collaboration with the Board of Nursing of the Philippines, Department of Health, Philippine Nurses Association, and other stakeholders to promote nurse entrepreneurship. Faith Community Nursing or Parish Nursing, this is the practice of nursing combined with spiritual care. They may work in either paid or unpaid positions in a variety of religious faiths. The nurse must be competent in the following areas of responsibilities. A safe and quality nursing care. One demonstrates knowledge based on the heal illness status of individual groups. Two provides sound decision making in the care of individuals or groups. 3. Promotes wholeness and well-being including safety and comfort of patients. 4. Sets priorities in nursing care based on patients' need. 5. Ensures continuity of care. 6. Administers medications and other health therapeutics. 7. Utilizes the nursing process as framework for nursing. 8. Formulates a plan of care in collaboration with patients and other members of the health team. 9. Implements planned nursing care to achieve identified outcomes. 10. Evaluates progress toward expected outcomes. 11. Responds to the urgency of the patient's condition. B. Management of resources and environment. 1. Organizes workload to facilitate patient care. 2. Utilizes resources to support patient care. 3. Ensures availability of human resources. 4. Checks proper functioning of equipment slash facilities. 5. Maintains a safe and therapeutic environment. 6. Practices stewardship in the management of resources. See health education. 1. Assesses the learning needs of the patient and family. 2. Develops health education plan based on assessed and anticipated needs. 3. Develops learning materials for health education. 4. Implements the health education plan. 5. Evaluates the outcome of health education. D. Legal responsibility. 1. Adheres to practice in accordance with the nursing law and other 
relevant legislation including contracts, informed consent. 2. Adheres to organizational policies and procedures, local and national. 3. Documents care rendered to patients. E. Ethical moral responsibility. 1. Respects the rights of individuals slash groups. 2. Accepts responsibility and accountability for own decisions and actions. 3. Adheres to the national and international code of ethics for nurses. F. Personal and professional development. 1. Identifies own learning needs. 2. Pursues continuing education. 3. Gets involved in professional organizations and civic activities. 4. Projects a professional image of the nurse. 5. Possesses positive attitude towards change and criticism. 6. Performs function according to professional standards. G. Quality improvement. 1. Utilizes data for quality improvement. 2. Participates in nursing audits and rounds. 3. Identifies and reports variances. 4. Recommends solutions to identified causes of the problems. 5. Recommends improvement of systems and processes. H. Research. 1. Utilizes varied methods of inquiry in solving problems. 2. Recommends actions for implementation. 3. Disseminates results of research findings. 4. Applies research findings in nursing practice. I. Record management. 1. Maintains accurate and updated documentation of patient care. 2. Records outcome of patient care. 3. Observes legal imperatives in record keeping. 4. Maintains an effective recording and reporting system. J. Communication. 1. Utilizes effective communication in relating with clients, members with the team and the public in general. 2. Utilizes effective communication in therapeutic use of self to meet the needs of clients. 3. Utilizes formal and informal channels. 4. Responds to needs of individuals, families, groups, and communities. 5. Uses appropriate information technology to facilitate communication. K. Collaboration and teamwork. 1. Establishes collaborative relationship with colleagues and other members of the health team for the health plan. 2. Functions effectively as a team player. History of public health nursing. In the Philippines. 1577, Friar Juan Clemente opened a medical dispensary in Intramuros for the indigent. 1690, Dominican Father Juan de Perjura worked towards installing a water system in San Juan del Monte, now San Juan City, Metro Manila, and Manila. 1805, Dr. Francisco de Bamas introduced smallpox vaccination. 1876, the first medicos titulars were appointed and worked as provincial health officers. 1888, the University of Santo Tomas opens a two-year, Cyrogenos Ministrants course to produce male nurses and sanitary inspectors. 1901, the Board of Health of the Philippine Islands was created through Act 157, which eventually evolved into the Department of Health, DO. 1912, the Fajardo Act law created sanitary divisions made up one to four municipalities. 1905, Asociación de Feminista Filipina founded La Gata de Leche, the first center dedicated to the service of mothers and babies. 1947, the DOE was reorganized into bureaus and the administration of city health departments was placed at bureau level. 1954, the Congress passed RA 1082 or the Rural Health Unit Act which provided an RHU in every municipality. 1957, RA 1891 was enacted to have a more equitable distribution of health personnel. 1958, regional health offices were created as a result of decentralization efforts, thus creating the position, Regional Health Officer. 1947, the DOE was reorganized into bureaus and the administration of city health departments was placed at bureau level. 1954, the Congress passed RA 1082 or the Rural Health Unit Act which provided an RHU in every municipality. 1957, RA 1891 was enacted to have a more equitable distribution of health personnel. 1958, Regional health offices were created as a result of decentralization efforts, thus creating the position, Regional Health Officer. 
1970, the Philippine healthcare delivery system was restructured, paving the way for the healthcare system that exists to this day where health services are classified into primary, secondary, and tertiary levels. 1991, RA 7160 or the local government code mandated the devolution of basic services, including health services, to local government units and the establishment of a local health board in every province and city or municipality. 1970, the Philippine health care delivery system was restructured, paving the way for the health care system that exists to this day where health services are classified into primary, secondary, and tertiary levels. 1991, RA 7160 or the local government code mandated the devolution of basic services, including health services, to local government units and the establishment of a local health board in every province and city or municipality. 1999, health sector reform agenda was launched to direct government efforts towards comprehensive reforms. 2005, Formula One, F1 for Health was launched to provide an implementation framework to the reform agenda. 2010, Universal Healthcare was launched to provide the necessary revisions to the F1 framework. 1999, Health Sector Reform Agenda was launched to direct government efforts towards comprehensive reforms. 2005, Formula One, F1, for Health was launched to provide an implementation framework to the reform agenda. 2010, Universal Healthcare was launched to provide the necessary revisions to the F1 framework. The Universal Healthcare aims to achieve the health system goals of better health outcomes, sustained health financing and a responsive health system that will provide equitable access to health care. It is deliberately focused on economically disadvantaged Filipinos to ensure that they are given risk protection through enrollment in PhilHealth. Philippine Health Insurance Corporation, and that they are able to access affordable and quality health services.